Hallelujah, glory to God. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have a prophetic word for someone. It is a test. Don't you give up. This is a test. Don't you give up. This word is coming to somebody. You are going through one of the toughest seasons in your life. Going through the most difficult season in your life. Everything is falling apart. Your finances are falling apart. Your relationships are falling apart. Your job is falling apart. And you're wondering what is happening. I came today to tell you, don't you dare give up. Don't you dare give up. Because you are at the verge of your breakthrough. The thing is, God never takes you to the next level without testing you. You will never get to the next level level until you are overqualified for the present level. So there is always a test. Like someone going to school that you have to take an exam for you to be promoted to the next class. That's the same thing that happens. The Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 2 from verse 18. It says, God looked at man and said, it is not good for this man to be alone. I will make for him a helper suitable. And then I thought God was going to just go straight and start making the helper. But instead, God put Adam to the test, gave him an assignment to name all the animals that were in the garden. And the Bible says God was watching to see what he would name them. So it's not like Adam discovered the names. No, 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 no. The names were already like, like Adam invented the names. Like he, he started the names by himself. No, the animals already had the names. So God was testing him to see how he would name them. And the Bible says Adam named all the animals. And then God said he named the animals the same way they were supposed to be named. And that was already him passing the test but the second part of the test was him being able to identify that there was none that was suitable for him that was compatible to him and Adam also realized while naming the animals that there was none that was compatible and suitable for him that was a suitable companion and God says now you've realized there is a need it means when I give you this now you are going to appreciate it so sometimes most often God puts you through the test so that the test will let you know that you need that thing that God wants to introduce you to so that when God gives it to you you are going to realize that indeed this was God answering your prayers so God will make your life so difficult when it has become the time that you need to get married so that you stop feeling contented and comfortable while alone and you come to the realization that you need someone in your life you need another person in your life when the moment you discover that then God says now is the time so when I send someone to your life, you are going to value it because you realize that indeed this is someone that you needed. So you value them and you treat them. But if you don't even know you need someone and you are living your life just fine and then God sends someone, you won't value that person. You won't value that person. If you are doing just okay with your job and then God gives you a promotion that you don't think you need you are not going to value that promotion but sometimes God has got to take you to the place test you so that you get to manage empty and then when he gives plenty you are going to know this was God and then you are going to know how to manage it don't you dare give up don't you dare give up it's just a test this season will come to pass in Jesus name Amen. God bless you. Shalom.